Right, good morning everybody and welcome to Thursday's Body Blast Session class. It's a bit fresh out, isn't it? Oh, Jack the Ripper's been out last night. It is cold outside, but that doesn't mean to say we're not going to be cold inside. We're going to be absolutely roasted by the time we finish this. Um, I hope you've uh, tackled the week um, well. Um, and obviously reading comments on there that uh, a lot of you are still aching from the uh, previous workouts this week. So that's good news. So really, really targeting the upper body today. So from the waist upwards, it is gonna be all upper body um, with arms in there as well. And we're gonna finish off with a six minute ab blaster to really target the core area. Now it's not just the abs we're concentrating on, it's the whole core. So the core is obviously lower back, even your glutes are part of your uh, core as well, and obviously your core belt, which goes all the way around. So it's not just, every time you, you do core or ab exercises, you're not just trying to promote the blocks of abs, it's the core as well. If you've got a stable and strong core, then it builds strength, and obviously keeps you upright. Posture as well. If you've got a, a really loose and weak core, a lot of the time we just bend forward and stuff, so we don't want that. Okay, so. Today's body blast consists of two, four, six, eight exercises all upper body, again on the timer. Then we have a finisher, uh, and then we go into arms, and then you finish off with your abs and core, okay? Now, weight-wise, it depends on what you've got to your disposable, disposable, should I say. Um, so if you did the circuit class yesterday, have those weights, the same weights you had yesterday. For me, I've got the luxury of having 10Ks all the way down to 2Ks. So if I fatigue, I can just mix things up. If you haven't got any weights, or you've only got one set of dumbbells or one kettlebell, use it to however you can, okay? If you can't physically use it because it's too heavy, then obviously just use your arms or quickly grab a, a milk carton and fill it with water, whatever. Just try and use whatever you can, okay? Tomorrow's class is not gonna be on here. Tomorrow's class, I told you at the start of the week, I am representing HitStep for their 30 day HitStep challenge. Um, so tomorrow's workout will only be on the HitStep page. So this is a chance after this class to type in into Facebook, HitStep 30 day challenge. You'll go to their page, you have to um, um, accept not accept, you have to um, enrol and then they will accept you onto the page and then you can see it live, okay? So I'll be on there at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock tomorrow morning. That's an early hit step class. So I'm doing hit step tomorrow live on the hit step 30 day challenge page. Again, you can find all the information on Facebook. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, if I can, I should be able to send it as a link afterwards to you guys. So for you guys who've already paid your weekly uh, subscription, don't worry, if I can get it to you, I'll try. If not, I'm most sorry, but I'm hoping that I can I can save the link and then still do uh, like I do with all my other classes, okay? So that's tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. No class on here. Um, going into next week. Next week is my final week of doing uh, these classes because as you've seen in the news, gyms and classes and everything are all back open. Yay! From next Wednesday. So I will continue to do a full week, Monday to Friday. My classes, personally, start back on uh, Thursday evening at Maxi Village Hall. That's the seven o'clock start. Um, so if you want to book on that, please uh, contact me for that one. It's five pound per class, or it's 25 pounds for six. So you get one free, basically. So I do Thursdays, and I also do Monday evenings. Now Monday evenings is at 6.30, so 6.30 to 7.30 on a Monday. Thursday is seven till eight, well, just before eight, okay? So if you wanna book in and do the hit step classes with me, get to see me live, woohoo, well, I get to see you anyway, um, then again, book on with that. Um, apart from that, I think that's it. Still waiting to hear back from the Deepin's Business Awards. Nobody has heard anything yet, so no winners have been announced, which is, I suppose, good news. Um, so again, by the time we get to the 1st of December, we should all know who's won and who's lost and who's come runner up um, in the Deepin's Business Awards. So, got a lot going on. Um, for those of you who have rented steps from me, um, please could I have them back, apart from uh, Heather, I think you booked hers last week. For you guys who booked your steps at the start of lockdown, please can I have them back by the end of next week. Um, again, can you contact me or I'll contact you into how we arrange to pick those up, whether I come to you or you bring them to the class, completely up to you. I think that's it, I think I've covered all bases. Um, right, okay, so we're gonna do a quick warm up. 
and then we're going straight into the workout. So if you've got your weights ready, have them ready. Okay, you're also going to need a mat. If you haven't got a mat, again, don't worry. You can just do these on the floor. Again, every exercise you can do, if you can't do it, do something else. So if you've got a slight injury anywhere, just um, do something to get your heart rate up or to work the upper body the best you possibly can. Okay, watching the set, let's go, let's do this. Sorry about rambling on. Okay, let's have the miles out in front, let's lean forward. Okay, arms behind, squeeze those shoulder blades together, so have your chest up. Okay, from there, let's do those arm circles. So we're not gonna warm up the lower body today because we're not doing anything with the lower body, so it's all upper body today. Okay, arms back the other way. Good stuff, guys. Okay, from there, we're just gonna do some shoulder rolls. So really loosen up the shoulders. Really power it, forward, forward, let's go, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, then go backwards, so reverse it. Keep going guys, keep going, keep going, keep it five, four, three, two, one. Right, let's get your legs wide, and I want you to do the toe touches. So we're gonna start warming up the back as well. Let's go. Come on, rotate through. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, we're gonna do shoulder shrugs as well. So let's put our hands on top of our thighs. We're just gonna roll the shoulders. So we can do this quite quickly to begin with. Good stuff, let's keep this going. Three, two, one. One and go forward. If we do these quick, we'll be doing the warm up. Get the blood flow. Come on. Three, two, one. Neck rolls. So we're gonna be working a lot of the traps as well in your neck. So circles one way, circles the other. Okay, three, two, one. Hands above your head. Okay, stretch out one side. We're just basically just opening up, waking up the muscles. Okay, switch sides. Just let them know we're there. Good stuff guys, right, we're all loosened up. Tell you what we're gonna do before we go any further, we're all gonna do 10 press ups to really get that chest woke up. Okay, so everybody on the floor, whether you do them on your knees or you do a full one, it's up to you. Are you ready? We'll do 10, all together. Three, two, one, let's go. We do it slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, Nine, that's one, and 10, good stuff. Excellent work, guys. Right, okay, your exercises. I'm gonna get my smallest weights, and I'm gonna demonstrate every exercise to you guys. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds work, and we've got a 20 second rest. These exercises get repeated twice, okay? So the whole workout from now is about 29, nearly 30 minutes long. It feels quite long, I'd say. Okay, so I've got the light weights to demonstrate. You're gonna be seated, that's wrong, sit on the floor. So what I want you guys to do when you do this, I'll show you sideways on. I don't want you slouching forward. I want you to keep your feet on the floor, your chest up, head up, okay? And you're gonna do one arm at a time. So what that means is you do a seated shoulder press. So in that position, feet on the floor out in front, it's up to you. And we're just gonna control one arm for 30 seconds. Then you've got a 20 second rest, and then we do the other arm, okay? So it's really important that you try and keep that core tight. I don't want anybody slouching forward. Head up, chest up, whether you want your feet on the floor or out flat, it's up to you, but I don't want you slouching. I want your chest up, shoulders up, okay? From there, you're into a bent over row. So your bum back, really important that you keep your back straight, okay? What I mean by that, I don't want people rolling over like this and doing the bro. You've got to be straight. So what that means is you push your bum back, your hips go back, okay? You slight bend in your knees and you just go backwards, look. So if you keep going backwards, eventually you'll go down, okay? Now when you do a bent over row, both hands up, both hands down. Now when you bring them hands up, they come to your chest, look. Okay, so squeeze to your chest, all the way down. And what you're looking for, you wanna feel them shoulder blades. So pinch those shoulder blades together, I'll show you from behind. So squeeze those shoulder blades together. They work the muscles in the rear delts in the back, okay? So it's a slow and controlled. A lot of people doing that, like they're trying to pump up a a car tire or something, you're like, okay, so you slow and control. Again, arch your lower back, so it keeps your back straight, and you pinch, and back down, okay? 
nice and simple on that one. Then you've got a scoop dumbbell press. Now, I'm gonna go for the 10 kilograms on these. What you need to do when you scoop, okay, so you have your arms slightly bent, you put them behind like that, you come up, and then you press. So it's a scoop action. So you can use momentum to get those weights above your head. Now, the reason it's a scoop press is designed, so if you've got a heavy weight or a heavy kettlebell, whatever, use it. So you scoop behind, and then use that momentum to get you up to the top of your chest and go straight up. So you go down, it's a quick movement, that bang, down, swing, up, swing, up. So it's really designed to almost like doing a negative rep because, we're well not a force rep, should I say, because you're swinging and you're pressing at the top of the movement. From there, you've got dumbbell face pull. I recommend a lower weight for this one. Okay, your dumbbells are out in front, your arms are straight, and you squeeze. So they come up to your face, sorry. So you're up, to your, probably to your nose or to your eye line. So your hands are quite high. Dumbbells need to be light, and you're squeezing, okay? So look how high my hands are. I'll show you a bit further back. And then what I do, I'll bring them up to my face. That's why it's called a face pull. So you get your dumbbells up to your face, behind. You'll see I'm squeezing my rear delts together. Again, another back exercise. From there, you've got to a kneeling around the world. Now, again, heavier weight for this one, but I'm just demonstrating with a lighter one. You're gonna be kneeling, so your bum's gonna be on your heels. You're gonna go around your head with the weight one way, and then around your head with the other. Okay, so you make sure you do a full circle around your head. This will work all your shoulders, okay, all the way around, do one big circle one way, one big circle the other, okay? That's your kneeling around the world. Then you've got upright rows. Hope you guys are practicing techniques on these. Again, choose your weight accordingly. Just gonna do one side at a time. So upright row, look at the position of my wrist to my elbow. Okay, my wrist, sorry, my elbow is higher than my wrist. I don't want you guys doing that. Okay, that is not doing an upright row. Or even that, because everything is level. The idea is to get your elbow higher than your wrist. Okay, look, look how high my elbow is. So when you do an upright row, elbow high. This is why you don't want to have too much of a heavy weight because if the weight is too heavy, you're going to be doing that. Okay, and everything's in a straight line. I want your elbow high. Every time you do it, one side, 30 seconds, and then we switch. Okay, so hold it down. I mean, I can feel that just by doing it with two kilograms. So choose your weights accordingly. Then you've got a dumbbell press out. Again, two dumbbells, or if you've only got one, you're going to push from your chest and you're out. Bang, straight back in straight back out, nice and simple that one. But make sure, again, you don't rush it. I don't want you guys doing that. Okay, like doing some funky chicken dance. Okay, slow, controlled, fully extend your elbows, back into your chest, squeezing those dumbbells together all time. You'll really feel that in your chest as well as your shoulders. Then we finish off with a renegade row. So again, dumbbells, whichever you've got. Okay, you're in press up position and you're gonna row, bang, one arm at a time switching from side to side. Really important again, you get those elbows up. Nice and quickly, we're going to the finisher. So we do lateral raises for 20 seconds, then we do frontal raise for 20 seconds, and then do front and rear press. So what that means is you go in front of you, and then go behind you. So what I mean by behind is the dumbbells have to go behind your ears, okay, and then they come in front. So you do one, two, in front, Behind, look where my hand placement is. So for the front, it's above my, it's in front of my face. Okay, behind, go past my ears, behind me. So you work in different parts of your shoulder. Are you still with me, guys? From there, we've got arms, Zotterman curls. Again, you go up, down. So you go up as a normal bicep curl, rotate the wrist round, and then you bring the dumbbells down. So you go up, then you turn it, so the palms are facing down. All the while, your elbows are tucked in. From there, you've got a normal bicep curl, nice and straightforward. Tricep overhead extension, okay, one at a time. And then you do tricep kickbacks where you bend down and you squeeze one arm back at a time. I'll give you a minute rest after that and then I'll quickly explain the ab session as and when we get to it, okay? Because I really want to get this workout done. So, are you ready? Sit on your bum, get ready. We're going to the seated shoulder press and we're doing one arm at a time. Listen up for the timer, let's do this. Let's go, right, in three, I'm gonna pick up my weights. Five kilograms for me, right, get your bum on the floor. In three, two, one, let's go. Right, sit down, 
Just remember, one, heart, one arm at a time. So 30 seconds, I tend to do my weakest first. This is purely because it gets it out of the way. Remember, sit up tall, guys. So if you look down and you're bending over and you're not sitting up straight, come on, look forward. Keep that spine upright. All the while, keep out of the dumbbell there. Look. Uh, oh. Okay, that's one down. You've got 20 seconds. Get yourself in position. So remember, you want to be sitting upright when you do this exercise. Okay, 20 seconds, every sweet size. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Exactly the same again, come on. So much harder when you're sitting down. Purely because you've got to engage that core. Come on. Lower back as well. Come on. First exercise, oh, I've gone too heavy. We're pushing through, come on. Oh, it worked out last second, guys. Every rep, well done. Oh, God, right. Now you're into your bent over rows. I'm going for fours for this one. So remember what I said. Arms locked out, bum back, back straight. Elbows high, into your chest. Let's go. Slow, controlled. Really think about your positioning. Don't roll your back. Show this way, look. slight bend in your knees. Really pinch at the back, so pinch. All the way down. Row, all the way. Fully extend your arms. Slow and controlled, guys, come on. Really get that squeeze in your back. Come on, squeeze. Oh, good job, guys. Right, another 20 second rest. Now, if you've got heavier weights, now's the time to use them. I'm not using my eights. I think 10 might be too heavy. The scoop pressing. So remember, scoop, press. Do your sideways on, ready? So slide bend in your elbows, press. Quick movement, come on, get into momentum. Quick. Press, I'll show you this way. Scoop, press, scoop, press. The important bit is the pressing. How you get there is up to you. Nice and quick for this one. Come on, scoop, press. Swing your arms behind. Press up, use that momentum, get those arms up. Come on, heavier weights if you can. Oh, oh wow, that was tough. Okay, now you're into your dumbbell face pull. Oh, shoulders are tight now. So remember, arms are up, you come to your face. Woo. Right, here we go, squeeze both arms. So look at your dumbbells or look at your weights and make sure they're coming to your eyes. If it's too hard, lower the weight. Squeeze at the back. So arms up there. Squeeze to your face. I'll show you from behind. Squeeze. So I'm going to squeeze. Oh, I've got to feel this on the back. Top of the shoulders now. It's getting tough. Squeeze. Come on. And again. Oh, my days. Right. On the floor for the next one, guys. I've got a 10K for this one. So kneeling. So the bum is on the heels, and I'm gonna go full circle one way, and then full circle the other. Are you ready? Full circle, so all the way around, your head, come to the front, all the way around. So you wanna finish where it's in, where you can see it in your eye line. Full circle, come on. And then come back, come on, over the top. Uh, gone too heavy on the tens, I think. Uh, come on, if you can really push it, go, come on. Hold that weight all the way around, top of your head. Uh, out of those shoulders, guys. Uh, oh, wow, that was heavy. Right, okay, choose your weight accordingly. You're doing one arm at a time. Remember, this is the point where your elbows go past your wrist. You do one at a time. God, my heart rate's up now. Okay, you ready? So, high, hold it, bring it back down, hold it. Slow and control for this one. Remember, look at where your elbow is to where your wrist is. Come on, and again. Great work, guys. Come on, keep going. Really focus, get that elbow high. Feel that squeeze, time and the tension. Really feel the muscles working. Come on, and again, up. Oh. And again, one more if you get it in. Yes, guys, right. 
Oh, have a quick shake off, come on. Got to do exactly the same now the other side. Oh, man, my shoulders are burning. It's all good for the upper body, this is, guys, come on. Oh, right, same the other side. Let's go, elbow high. Keep that core tight. Focus, keeping upright, guys. Looking forward at all times, don't look to the floor. Focus on what you're working. So you should feel this in your shoulders, the top of your neck, your traps. Really feel it in that neck now, come on. Come on, keep working, elbow high, every rep. And again, hold it, last one. Squeeze, yes guys, well done, okay. We're now into the press out. Go lighter for this one. I'm gonna go for the twos. Actually, threes, I think. So, dumbbells squeezing together, press out, bring them back in. Are you ready? Squeeze the dumbbells together, arms out locked. Look, I'll show you sideways. Fully extend, squeeze them. Squeeze those dumbbells as hard as you can. Imagine they're trying to separate. So you've got to try and keep those dumbbells together, arms locked out, as hold it as long as you can, bring them back in. Come on, squeeze, back in. Squeeze, when you're fully extending those arms, Really squeeze those dumbbells. Squeeze, come on. And again, squeeze. Oh, good job, guys. Right. Now you're finishing off with those renegade rows. So you're in press up position. Putting some of that. One arm up at a time. So whether you're on your knees, you can't do a full press up. One arm up at a time. Like this, look. So arm goes up, elbow goes high. Keep that core tight. Keeping that plank position. Squeeze one at a time. Great stuff. Come on. Get the elbow high. Great stuff. And again, if you find it tough doing a full one and a full plank, you can always drop to your knees. Come on again. Last one. Well done, guys. That's round one done. So have a quick minute. Oh. Right, really stretch out, let's really stretch out those shoulders. How'd you find that first round, guys? Good? Feel it in my shoulders already. Oh, okay, so that's one round done. We're gonna do exactly the same again. 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, all eight exercises. Oh, my shoulders are tight. So guys, we do exactly the same again. We've got 20 seconds left, so. Use this time, have a quick drink. Okay, really feel this in your shoulders, I can. Oh, top of my traps and my rear delts, all in my shoulders. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds. So get ready to sit on the floor. We're doing a shoulder press, one at a time. I'm gonna lower mine to 5K, I think. Right, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Back on the floor. So start with your weaker side. <sighs> Come on, same again, exactly the same, eight exercises. Come on. Let's really burn the shoulders, burn the upper body, come on. Really hard, make sure you keep out the dumbbell up. Come on. Wow, 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 right, 30 seconds. You will start to feel this in your lower back, purely because you've got weight and you've got to try and keep that core tight, okay? So you will feel it in other areas other than your shoulders. Let's go, 30 seconds. Cross my legs. Oh, it works. Come on. Come on, guys, push through. Come on, you really start to feel this now. Uh, come on. That's one. Oh, wow, wow. Well done, guys. Right, get ready for your bent over row. So remember, it's really important that you don't roll your shoulders. Shoulder blades back, stick your bum back, squeeze it, okay? Going down to the fours on this one. Right, let's go. So remember, squeeze. Look at the position of your back. So your chest should be down towards the floor, but out, not towards the floor, because obviously you bend over. Look at my back position, guys. Copy it. So all the way down, 
Get those dumbbells up to your chest, all the way up, look, elbows back. So get that pinch in the back of your shoulders, pinch those shoulder blades together, all the way down. And again, squeeze. Oh, well done, guys. Right, if you've got a heavier dumbbell, now's the time to pick it up. So we're doing the scoop press. So remember, scoop up, shoulder press. Use that momentum with that scoop. Right, here we go, elbows bent, up, scoop. Come on, this can be done quick. Get into rhythm, come on, down, up, down, up. Come on, scoop, press, scoop, press. Keep that core tight. Come on, how many reps can you do in 30? Come on, press, good, come on again. Scoop, press, come on, scoop. Come on guys, hang in there. Tough on the shoulders today. Oh, right, get kneeling. We're on our knees. We're going around the what? No, we're not. We're doing face pull. My bad. Sorry. Face pull first. So get your weights. Remember, got to be up to your eye line. Squeeze. So pull back. Right, here we go. Squeeze. So remember, arms are out. Fully lock them out. Bring them back. So sideways on, guys. Looks like this. Squeeze. Oh, this is too heavy now. I can't do it. Down to the twos. So no shame in lowering the weight, just get the form right. Arms high, squeeze, get them up. Bring it back, eye line. Follow that eye line. Oh, shoulders. Come on, that's one. Squeeze, oh. Okay, now you're on your knees. Kneeling in and around the world. So onto your knee, onto your knees, thumb on your heels, and you do the full circle around your head. One way, then the other. All right, are you ready? Let's go all the way around, make sure it comes back around the front. You've got to make sure the, the circle goes around the back of your head, just a full circle, and then switch it. Switch it around, full circle. Full circle around. All the way around, when you've done a full circle and you can see it, go around again the other way. Come on. Oh. Come on, guys. Oh. Wow. Okay, ready for your upright rows. Choose your weight accordingly. Remember, 30 seconds on one side. Elbows go behind on your wrist. Stand tall. Shoulders go back. Let's go. So stand tall, guys. Sideways on, look. I'm not arching, I'm not leaning forward like this. Okay, I'm standing back, my shoulders are retracted. My chest is up. I'm standing tall. My elbow. It's higher than the wrist every time. Come on. Stand tall, maintain that form. Good posture. Come on. Keep pushing. That's one if you get it in. Yes, guys. Okay, 20 seconds, we do the same the other side. Oh, how are your shoulders, guys? I'm gonna burn you. Oh. Okay, so remember, shoulders back. Retract those shoulder blades. Don't hunch them forward. Get those shoulders back. Chest up, head up, here we go. Always maintain that form, it's really important. So you should be feeling tall now. Chest and head up. Shoulder blades should be almost like touching together. Get those shoulders back, your chest should be up. Come on, elbow high, good. Doesn't matter about what weight you're using, just do good quality reps, okay? Don't cheat. Come on, one more. Great stuff, guys. Okay, from there, we're into your press out. This is the one where you've got to visualize. Remember, these dumbbells are trying to push away from you. So you've got to really try and keep them close. Fully extend your arms and squeeze. Here we go. Squeeze. Then back into your chest. Squeeze. Notice that my core is tight. I'm not arching forward. I'm not using the hips. Okay, hips, core, stay nice and tight. Squeeze. If you find it too tough with two dumbbells, put one down. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You can use one, just use whatever weight you can. Even if you've only got a book, get those arms out straight. Anything's better than nothing. Last one, come on, squeeze. Great stuff. Okay, you finish off with that renegade row. So, into press up position or plank position, whether you do it on your knees, up to you. So, easy version on your knees, one at a time. Hard version, extend those legs. Let's go. 
all the way up. Slow and control, guys. Try not to move those hips too much. Keep the hips nice and tight. Come on. Great stuff. And again, this is body blast, guys. This is tough. Really targeting the upper body today. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. And again. One more. Oh, well done, guys. Wow. Okay. I'm giving you guys a minute rest. Then we're into the shoulder finisher. How are we doing, guys? Are we still with us? Right, your shoulder finisher is going to be lateral raises. So arms out. Okay, arms out, arms in. Do that for 20 seconds. Then we do frontal raises again for 20 seconds. I think it's 20 seconds. Yes, 20 seconds. Then we go front press. Rear, so you go front, rear. We repeat that set twice, and then that's that shoulders done. Right, are you ready? Right, so pick a weight that you'll be able to do the whole thing in without stopping. I am gonna pick four kilograms for me. I might even be too heavy because my shoulders are fatigued, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, right, let's do this. 20 seconds, so 20 seconds on the clock, five second rest in between each one and it gets done twice. So really, really sh shoulder fatigue finisher. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so we start with laterals. Arms out, bring them back in. Don't rush it. Fully extend your arms. <sighs> Lateral raises for 20. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Keep this going, guys. <sighs> <sighs> okay, five seconds rest and we bring them to the front. Shoulder blades back. Let's bring them up, both together. Good. Keep that core tight. I don't want anybody swinging those hips, okay? Look, arms out straight. Hold them up there. Oh, come on. Keep it going. Oh, okay, so here we go. Shoulders front and behind with the lower weights. So look at this, look. Shoulder press from the front. Take it behind your ears, behind. Bring to your front, in front of you, behind you. So in front, rears behind. So when you go past your ears, bring it to the front, and switch it behind, behind. Front, behind. Ugh. Okay, five seconds rest, we're back into laterals again. Keep it going guys, come on. Laterals again, come on, second time round, this is it. Oh, come on, these shoulders are burning, push through this. Oh, tough, slow and control, guys. Feel that tension. Oh, shoulders burn. Come on. And again. Oh, ready for your frontals. Oh, shoulders are gone, come on. No swinging, guys, come on. You have to drop your weight, drop it. Just use your body weight. Slow, control, come on. Keep it going. Oh. And again, come on. One more. Right, okay. Are we into front and rears? Final time. In front, behind, in front. Switch it behind. So just change the angle. Get those dumbbells behind, past your ears. Come on. In front, behind. Oh, wow. Guys, that is your shoulder smash done. Oh, my days. Don't know about you guys, but my shoulders are gone. Okay, gonna give you guys 30 seconds. Get your weights ready. We're straight into those arm exercises. We've got four exercises doing, doing, done. We do it twice through, and then that's your arms done. So it's a quick arm blast. Now, choose that weight accordingly. I'm going for fours because you're going to do a bicep curl, the palms facing towards you, then you're turning your palms to face the floor, then you go down. All the while, you keep your elbows tucked into your side. Okay, let's do this. 40 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Three, two, one. Okay, so follow me, guys. Bicep curl up, rotate your wrist to the floor, and down. Zotman curl up, rotate your wrist, down. Come on, up for the curl. Rotate wrists, down. Okay, rotate those wrists, 
bring him to the floor. Up, so look, maintain, look, my elbows have not moved. Okay, it's a hinge joint. Hinge joints only go up and down. So don't move any other way, come on. Squeeze at the top, rotate to the floor, down. So you do biceps as well as forearms. Great stuff, right. Now we're into normal bicep curls. You can up the weight on this one if you need to. So straight up, straight down. You can do both if you want, or you can do one at a time. I'm gonna do one at a time. Let's go. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. If you've got lighter dumbbells, you can do both at the same time. Up to you. Come on, squeeze at the top. Really squeeze. Come on. It's really important, you don't just throw them dumbbells up there. You squeeze at the top of the contraction, okay? Really squeeze it. Squeeze as hard as you can those dumbbells, come on. Squeeze, elbows maintained at the side, come on. Squeeze. And again, come on, squeeze. Last one, yes. Woo! Okay, get one of your dumbbells. We're going over your head. Yes, single arm. Ah. Dumbbell. Single arm, let's go, one arm at a time. Come on, keep us going. All the way down, behind your back of your head, come on. Keep that form, dumbbell goes all the way down. Come on. And again, push it, all the way up, all the way down. Keep going, come on. Oh, days. Right, switch arms. Oh, that was tough, are you ready? Oh. Wow, wow. Second set, we're gonna use both arms. Let's go. Come on, 30 seconds. All the way up, make sure you fully extend the elbow at the top, so you feel it down the triceps, okay? So get that arm all the way down the back. Squeeze at the top, let's go. Come on, squeeze at the top. Let's go. Come on, it's getting tough now on those arms. Come on, keep it going. Come on. Tough now, come on, push through guys if you can. Run again. Oh, oh man, my triceps are gone now. Okay, so your tricep kickbacks. Elbow stays in. Draw it backwards so it goes behind you. You ready? Squeeze at the back. Back in. Squeeze. And again. Do one at a time. Squeeze. Squeeze. And again, come on. Squeeze. Make sure that back is straight. Don't arch your back. Squeeze. So elbow stays in, remember you're fully locked behind you. So almost that dumbbell goes past your bum, fully lock out your arm. Squeeze it, squeeze it when you're fully locked out, squeeze. Come on, feel that in your triceps. And again, come on. Oh. Okay, switch sides, you ready? Woo. Okay, are we ready for this? Oh. Let's go, squeeze it, one, two. Elbow stays in, look, by your side. Fully squeeze it behind you. Oh, four, come on, five, oh, six, come on, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. Oh, come on, really fully squeeze it behind you. Keep it going, come on. Oh, oh. oh it does. Keep going. Oh. Okay, guys, we're back into those Zotman curls. What might you use it? Go for the fives. Are you ready? Come on, keep going. So up, rotate, and down. Come on. Second time round. Let's do it. Come on. Oh. We are certainly body blasting today. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. 
far. Up, rotate towards the floor, and down. Elbows into your side, come on. Feeling this now, come on guys. Let's push through this, come on. Up, rotate, down, last one. Okay, bicep curl time. Pick up heavier weights if you can. Oh, tricep overhead sections next. We're just gonna do one dumbbell for this one. Let's go. Because I've got heavier weights, do one at a time. In fact, I might go lower and just rep out. Come on, up and down. Oh, come on, stick with this. Elbows tucked in all the way down, squeeze at the top. Oh, this is tough. I might go lighter on the weight, but I'm repping out more, you see? Get more of a burn. It's not always about heavy weights. Oh, come on. Oh, all right, we haven't done yet. We're going to your tricep overhead extension. Get your dumbbell in your hand. Come on, why is it stopped? Right, let's go, dumbbell. I'm gonna go eight, do one this time. Both hands above your head, look, I'll show you. So squeeze that dumbbell, all the way up, all the way down, let's go, come on. Let's go. Remember, keep the core tight, look, I'm not leaning forward, I'm keeping my head up, my chest is up, I'm locking out my elbows. Come on guys, top of the movement, lock out the elbows. Let's really burn those triceps. Oh, come on, up and down. Keep it going, come on. Okay guys, from there, tricep kickbacks. Pick up your weight, I'll go for the falls again. Either side, you ready? So, squeeze at the back, one. Come on, really remember your form. Fully lock out your elbow. Oh, come on. Really squeeze the elbow. Push it, fully lock out the arm, let's go. Oh. Come on guys, you're doing great. Tough, tough workout today, come on. Push it, let's go. Keep it going. Oh God, come on. Let's go, let's go. Last one. Oh, okay. Okay, other side, are you ready? Keep it going. Okay, are you ready? Let's go, squeeze the back. Squeeze. Oh. Come on guys, get the arm locked out. Come on guys, you've got this. Oh, lock out, last time. Last exercise, this is it, then we're doing the abs to finish. Come on, last few reps. Really make sure you lock out the elbow. Oh, wow, we, wow, we. Right, okay, guys, are you ready? We're doing this core finisher now. So, you're going to have. Five exercises, are you still with me guys? It's a long workout today, I apologize. Okay, you've got six exercises. You'll be doing 30 seconds work and no rest. Well, three seconds rest, that's all you're gonna get. So we do bicycle crunches, leg raises, heel touches, sit-up crunches, scissor kicks, and B-sit freeze. Now, I want you guys just to follow along with me because if I go through every exercise, that's gonna be another five minutes. So, 30 seconds work, bicycle crunches. Have a quick drink, and we're ready. So guys, get ready to get on your mat. Follow the work, follow the timer. Right, six minutes and we are done. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So bicycle crunches first, guys. So hands, side of your head. Hands your opposite knee, look. Slow and control. Try to keep your heels off the floor. Oh. Breathe, slow and control. Keep going. No. 
Right, three seconds and we're into leg raises. So that, leg raise up and down. Try not to touch the floor if you can. Slight bend in your knee. I'll put my hands under my bum. Come on. If you get your legs out straight, even better. Can't remember what's next after this. What's after this? Heel touches. Heel touches are next. Come on, guys. Let's go. Keep pushing. Uh, okay, into your heel touches. So you're tapping your heel. Are you ready? Tap. Let's go. They all stay on the floor for these. Oh. What's after heel touches? Heel touches, sit up quite okay? Come on. Uh, right, you put your head down, you can bring it up, it's up to you. Come on. Oh. Sit up and crunch, you ready? So, legs up, feet back down. Sit up and crunch. Oh. So your knees come up to your elbows, into that crunch. Oh, this is getting tough now. What's next? Scissor kicks are next. Oh. Come on, crunch. It's gonna burn, guys, push through, come on. Oh. If you don't wanna put your feet down, you don't have to. You can maintain it like that. Okay. Scissors. So cross your feet over. Overlap. Legs are wide. Oh. Your final exercise is going to be that V sit freeze. Oh. Oh. Come on, guys. Keep that core tight. Overlap your legs. Oh. Oh. Come on. Keep this going, guys. You got this. Come on. Oh, okay. V sit freeze. Into that freeze position. Legs up. Oh, lean back. So we've got to do this again. All six again, and we'll be done. Come on, guys. Stick with this. Oh. If you find it tough, put your feet down. Lean back. It's up to you. Whatever you can do. Oh. Back into bicycle crunches. After this. God. God. Oh, right, bicycle crunches. Are you ready? Same again, here we go. Oh. Oh. Second time is so much harder. Oh. Come on guys, we need it to finish. My core's gone. Oh. Something I need to work on. God. Oh. Oh. Do what you can do. In fact, put your heels down, put your heels down. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh. Right, into your leg raises. Let's go, leg raises, and then back down. Slight bend in your knee. Oh. Up and down, touch your heels on the floor. Oh, God, come on. Ah. 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 Come on. What's after here? The heel touches the next. Oh. Come on, guys, stick with this. Oh. Push through. Oh. Okay, heel touches. You ready? We're halfway. Come on, heel touches, touch. Touch, touch. Oh. Oh. Come on now. What's next? Sit up, crunch on my mom. Come on. Oh. This is hard. Oh, come on. Push through, guys. If you find this tough, because I am, this is horrific. Uh, oh, come on. Push, man. Oh, oh. Right, sit up, crunch. Here we go. Let's go. Scissor kicks are next. Crunch into your chest. Oh, into your chest. Come on. Oh, oh get cramped. Come on, don't stop now, I'm with you. Oh, the crap's real. Right, scissors. Oh, 
Oh my days, why did I do this? Then you finish off with that V-sit freeze and we are done. Oh, come on guys. Oh. Oh. Burning abs. Oh. Oh. Come on guys, stick with this. Oh, okay, it's that V-sit freeze, final one. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh. Lean back. Right, final one, here we go. Lean back, hold it. Come on. Yes, guys, we're done. Oh. That was horrific. My face is cool. Oh. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. That went on a little bit longer than I anticipated. I'm so sorry, guys, that you had to endure that for, what, 45 minutes? Oh, God, my core is burning. How was that for you guys? I have to say, that core finisher, I was rubbish at. I apologize, my core is pants, but I felt that, oh God. Guys, I hope that wasn't too hard, and I hope it wasn't too long. I know some of you had to disappear, but like, sometimes I like to put them longer workouts in, because we don't really train the upper body enough. Um, it's always legs when we do hit and we do circuits, so I really wanted to incorporate a lot more upper body and arms. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long. Well done everybody for taking part. You guys are epic, as always. High fives and fist pumps, virtually of course. Oh, well done, well done, well done. Okay guys, we're gonna quickly do a cool down because I know time is precious to a lot of you. So, we're gonna do the one for the core first. So, quickly, get your, put your bum onto your heels, or your heels onto your bum, whichever you prefer. Then we're gonna come down, so our chest comes down to the mat, and then we come up, fully extend the arms, arch your back, stretch out the core. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time, guys. So back into the starting position. The heels, we'll bum on your heels. Three, two, one. We go down to the mat, we arch our back. Really good. Stretching out the core. Hold this for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, now when you come up, come up slowly, because obviously a lot of your blood flow has gone to your legs. So we do some nice arm circles, slow and controlled, okay? If you want to do a longer stretch after this video, you can do. But I know a lot of you obviously got to go, so we do this nice and quickly. Bring them back the other way. Over your heads. Slow and controlled, not a race. Three more, sorry, two more. Last one. Okay, shoulder shrugs, like we did in the warm up, but this time go a little bit slower. Do five forward. Three, four, five, and then go backwards. One, two, three, four, last one. Five, roll your neck. Five times one way. One, really roll it. Two, three, four. Last one, really roll it. Way, and then go back the other way. One, two, three, four. Last one, five. Okay, triceps. Oh, I've been dizzy. Triceps, hand down the middle of your spine, push down top of the elbow. Well done, Emma. Awesome. Okay, sweet sides. Okay, nice and quickly, arms out in front. Lean as far forward as you can. Okay, and arms behind. This is a good stretch, this one. Oh, squeeze those shoulder blades together. 
Okay, finish off, arm across your chest, put it in nice and tight. Okay, switch sides. Guys, you are all done. Thank you, thank you so much for bearing with me today. It was a longer workout than anticipated, but all your upper body is done. If you want to carry on and do some more stretching, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so stretch out more of your shoulders, more of your chest. Just a reminder, I'm not back on here tomorrow. I'm over on the Hit Step 30 Day Challenge page. If you want to join in then, you can do. Just obviously go over there and um, request to join, and then you can go from there. Um, hopefully I can get the link out to you tomorrow, but I don't know. But if you don't see the link tomorrow, then obviously I haven't been successful in getting it to you. But please join me tomorrow if you can on the Hit Step page, 8 a.m. It's an early one. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a great day. Cheers, bye.